Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are safe and healthy at your place. Children, last week we started the lesson from the diary of Anne Frank. Today we will continue with the same, but before we start, let's summarize what we have already read. Now, as this lesson is written by Anne Frank herself, it is taken from her diary from that novel, The Diary of Anne Frank. So we are in the beginning told about Anne Frank and her family and how they were living okay and after that what she has written in her diary or one lesson that has been taken from her diary so let's know what it is written all about so Anne Frank is actually a German born Jewish girl now when the during the second world war when German was, Germany was occupied by Nazis, they shifted to Amsterdam, Netherlands. But when the German's rule extended in Netherlands, they took hiding in her father's office. And they remained there for two years. They remained in hiding for two years. And during those two years, she had written that diary. Date-wise, Chronological uh, detail of the uh, things are given, how she faced the atrocities, how her family and how the other people they faced the atrocities, tortures by the Nazis, okay, and uh, why she, and she has also written why she felt the urge to write a diary, because what she feels that she did not have a real friend, and secondly, what her opinion is that paper has more patience than people she can easily confine in uh, writing that what she want to convey her secrets because when she tells these two people they would react they would object they would criticize her but paper is more patient than people and secondly she doesn't have a real friend she had a family her friends all were there around her but she finds and uh, no real friend around so that's why she calls her diary her friend and she named it as kitty then she has told about her family that she had an elder sister her father was Otto Frank and uh, they shifted father shifted to Holland in 1933 and after that mother shifted there then on her uh, sister's birthday Margaret birthday she was also shifted to Holland then she says that her uh, grandmother fell ill uh, that year her birthday was not celebrated but next year her birthday was celebrated and grandmother candle was also lit so this is all we are told about her family and her background that how she faced the atrocities tortures by the Nazis during their hiding period and uh, why did she write that diary okay now let's read the first entry in her diary that is given that what she writes about okay so let's know and find so we have already read all that part so now that is starting from this page yes now it is the first entry in her diary that is on Saturday 20th June 1942 Dearest Kitty Our entire class is quaking in its boots. The reason of course is the forthcoming meeting in which the teachers decide who will move up to the next form and who will be kept back. Half the class is making bets. Gian and I laugh ourselves silly at the two boys behind us. CN and Jackus who have staked their entire holiday saving on their bet. Actually when she started writing diary they were uh, living there she was going to at the time she was she had already started writing diary she had got the diary on her 13th birthday and after that they had to go in hiding but she had already started writing and uh, what she had written in the beginning she had written about her school life and uh, first page what she writes that 
everybody is feeling nervous quaking in boots that everybody is feeling nervous and the reason of course is the forthcoming meeting in which the teacher decide who will move the because the result is going to be declared okay teacher are going to decide who will go in the next class and who will be kept back half the class is making bets half of the class is making bets they are making bets that whether they would go in the next class or not gn and i gn was her friend and friend and i i and and herself laugh ourselves silly at the two boys behind us two boys were sitting behind them it is the day in school when all are waiting for the teacher to come and announce the results and two students are sitting behind them they are cn and jackis and cn and jackis are making bets who have staked their entire holiday saving on their bet and they have put all their saving holiday saving on their bet ki whether they would go in the next class or not from morning to night it's you are going to pass no i am not yes you are no i am not so they were doing like the same even g's bleeding glances g gn gn was her friend so she was requesting them please stop all that and my angry outburst and and frank was angry at them to stop all that nonsense can't calm them down but that could not stop them that could not put them off to have such bets and all that but if you ask me there are so many dummies so many stupids that about a quarter of the class should be kept back but according to n frank there are so many stupids in the class that a quarter of the class one fourth of the class should be kept in the same class that should not be promoted but teachers are the most unpredictable creatures on earth now what she calls her teachers that they are the most unpredictable creature because you never know whom the teacher will pass or whom he will he will fail so she she says these are the most unpredictable creatures on the earth so now this is their school life she is talking about school life i am not so worried about my girlfriends and myself now n frank is quite intelligent and she says that i am not worried about my friends and even i would also get through we will make it the only subject i am not sure about is maths so now she is not sure about mathematics she is has some doubt on that anyway all we can do is wait so we can't do anything now right now but we can just wait until then we keep telling each other not to lose heart so and now we are just hoping for the best results and we are just consoling each other encouraging each other not to lose heart just encouraging and we are just waiting for the results to come i get along pretty well with all my teachers so now what she says that i have good relations with all my teachers there are nine of them seven men and two women so there are total nine teachers who are teaching us seven are male teachers and two are female mr kissing the old posy who teaches maths was annoyed with me for ages because i talked so much so now she was just afraid of her mathematics result because mr kissing the old fuzzy old fuzzy means the old fashioned man who teaches maths he was angry with her she was naraaj the usse annoyed with him because for a long time because i talked so much she was a talkative girl and frank convinced uh, the she confessed that she was a very talkative girl after several warnings he assigned me extra homework so before that in the class he warned me several times but when i was not obeying her obeying the teacher he assigned me extra homework what kind of extra homework he assigned to n frank an essay on the subject a chatter box a chatter box so now he assigned her to write an essay on the subject a chatter box a chatter box because she talks too much so he assigned her to write a write an essay what can you write about that 
I would worry about that later. I decided. So uh, now, what can I write about this topic? So he, she, so she thought that she would worry about it later. I decided. I jotted down, jotted down means wrote down the title in my notebook, tucked it in my bag, and tried to keep quiet. I just put it in my bag. I noted down the topic. I put it in the bag and try to be quiet. That evening, after I had finished the rest of my homework, the note about the essay caught me, caught my eye. So now that evening, after she had finished all her homework, the uh, she had already noted down the topic for the essay that caught her attention. Ki, oh, I had to complete that essay also. I began thinking about the subject while chewing the tip of my fountain pen. Now she began to think about the topic that what she should write in that. And uh, now she was uh, just chewing the tip of the fountain pen. And anyone could ramble on. Ramble on means anyone could talk about and leave big spaces between the words. But the trick was to come up with convincing arguments to prove the necessity of talking. As she was already very good at writing, but she thought that she would not just fill the pages or leave big space in between the words, but she just wanted to write something that would convince the teacher for to prove that she should be allowed to talk in the class. She wanted to give some convincing arguments in favor of talking. I thought and thought, and suddenly I had an idea. And she thought and thought and suddenly she got an idea. I wrote three pages. Mr. Kissing had assigned me and was satisfied. And she had written three pages. And Mr. Kissing had uh, the topic that was assigned to her. She wrote three pages and teacher was quite satisfied. And what she had written in the topic? I argued that talking is a student's trait and that I would do my best to keep it under control. Actually, what she argued that it's students quality that they keep on talking in the class and I would do my best to keep it under control. I would keep it under control. I would try to be quiet in the class, but it's a natural trait of the students. One argument was in that. And secondly, but I, that I would never be able to cure myself of the habit since my mother talked as much as I did if not more and that there is not much you can do about inherited traits. And secondly, she argued, she had put a one more argument that she was not able to cure it fully because her mother also talked too much and it is her hereditary quality. She cannot do much about that. She cannot change her hereditary qualities. So she should be allowed to talk in the class. Okay. So Mr. Kissing had a good laugh at my arguments. So Mr. Kissing, he started laughing when he read my arguments. But when I proceeded to talk my way through the next lesson, he assigned me a second essay. But when again in the classes, when I started talking in the classes, he assigned me a second essay. And this time it was, this time it, I was, it was supposed to be on an incorrigible chatterbox. Incorrigible chatterbox. In, incorrigible is what something which cannot be corrected, which is, which is setting is defaulting, default setting in corrigible chatterbox. So I handed it in and Mr. Kissing had nothing to complain about for two whole lessons. So now again she put her arguments in that uh, essay and for the next two weeks teacher did not say anything about that. However, during the third lesson I had finally had enough. Anna, Anna Frank as punishment for talking in class, write an essay entitled Quack, 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 said Mistress Chatterbox. Now, after two weeks, the teacher was again annoyed with Anne Frank and as a punishment, he asked her to write one more essay on the title Quack, 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 said Mistress 
chatterbox. So quack quack means keep on talking all the time. Quack quack said mistress chatterbox. He assigned her that topic. So this time what she did, the class roared. They all the classmates started laughing. I had to laugh too, though I had nearly exhausted my ingenuity on the topic of chatterboxes because she had already written two essays. So she had. Uh, she says that she had no more ideas on what to write on this topic chatterboxes. It was time to come up with something else, something original. So now it was the time that she should have something new, something different. Okay. And what happened? My friend Sane, who had, who was good at poetry, offered to help me write the essay from beginning to end in verse and I jumped for joy. So what happened? Her friend who has who was very good at poetry, she offered to write that essay in the form of a poem. Okay, and she was and was very happy at this because her friend offered to help her. Mr. Kissing was Kissing was trying to play a joke on me with the ridiculous subject, but I would make sure the joke was on him. So now actually Mr. her teacher, he was trying to play a joke on him so that she should write again and again and ultimately she should stop that habit. But what she wanted that that joke, she wanted to write in such way that joke should turn on him. I finished my poem and it was so beautifully written. It was about a mother duck and a father swan with three baby ducklings who were bitten to death by the father because they quack too much you know quacking sound it is on the duck sound it is so she had written a poem about a mother duck and a father swan and with three ducklings and father put all his ducklings to death because they quack too much they talk because quacking is their natural habit duck they do quacking Okay, quack quack, they put that sound. So they were put to death because they quack too much. Luckily, Mr. Kissing took the joke the right way. Now, it was a joke, actually, it was a story framed uh, in the form of a poem, but Mr. Kissing took the joke in the right way. He understood that it was her natural and inherited quality, and she can't do much about that so he read the he read the poem to the class adding his own comments now he read the poem to the class he added his own comments and to several other classes as well and he also read the poem in several other classes since then i have been allowed to talk and haven't been assigned any extra homework and after that she was not given any other extra homework okay and she was allowed to talk in the class now the teacher was convinced at this okay and on the contrary mr kissing always making jokes these days now on the contrary on the opposite situation what had happened mr kissing her teacher he had also started cracking jokes in the class so this is an extract from the diary of a young girl the diary of a young girl that was the novel okay that is uh, there full novel is there and this is this chapter is just an extract this is one of the chapter that is taken from her diary okay so uh, little bit it is changed and it is there with you so now this is all about the lesson we are told about Anne Frank uh, how she faced the atrocities and tortures by the Nazis and ultimately she has told about her family and her school life in the beginning first first entry that she made about her school life and how did she feel there she was quite intelligent girl because she was intelligent and she had written so beautifully about those two essays and ultimately third was written by her friend but that was her ability that was her quality that later on made her to write complete that diary and ultimately that became one of the most popular diaries of the world and she had written it 
at such an early age at the age she started writing at the age of 13 and by the age of 16 she had died and that diary that was published by her father that became a famous novel it was so mature and insightful writing that's why it became so popular so this is all about the lesson uh, question answers will be sent to you through whatsapp thank you so much